Welcome back. Tonight, we're continuing to look at how the tragic events that happened 20 years ago have impacted the United States. Right now, we're taking a live look at Ground Zero in New York City, where the Twin Towers once stood. The impact from 9-11 was also felt here in western New York. Many first responders who traveled to Ground Zero to help now have chronic illnesses like cancer. But now Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center is able to treat them here in Buffalo. 20 years ago when this happened, people from Western New York, people from all over the country answered the call and went to New York City. They helped, they were there for days at a time, weeks at a time. They didn't go knowing what they would be getting themselves into. Um, they just went to help. Ashley Snowden is the Director of Physician and Corporate Relations at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. She said there's a correlation between 9-11 first responders and certain cancers. These large buildings were full of heavy metals and asbestos and cement and just all this like really caustic material that people were touching and breathing in and you know kind of just doing what they had to do. People started getting sick afterwards and it was too common to not make the correlation between what their exposures were and what their diagnoses were. The World Trade Center Health Program is a limited federal health program that provides no cost medical monitoring and treatment for those directly affected by the 9-11 attacks. Snowden said cases of leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma, breast, prostate and thyroid cancers have been found in many 9-11 first responders. You may remember the story of former Gutsville Fire Chief Irving Eisenberg, who passed away from multiple myeloma in 2019, connected to his service on 9-11. So we're now collecting enough data that we can look at like who was where and what types of cancers were developing from those places. In July, Roswell announced they are now able to provide no cost care to those enrolled in the World Trade Center Health Program for medically necessary treatment, which means about 1,600 people enrolled in the program from western to central New York can receive care in their backyard instead of traveling downstate. They went down, they helped us. It's our turn to help them and get the care that they need close to home. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News.